published a book when he was still quite young in his late 20s called So Far So Good and it was about his time in England and the opening chapter of that book which I eventually got my hands on um, just slaughtered the school and how he was treated in the school at the time back in 71. Of course it was a very different country back then and the ban had just been lifted maybe a year or so. So the dilemma that he had was to either captain the Ireland under 15 schoolboys team in an international tournament or play a Leinster championship game. And in those days those Leinster championship GAA games were played on Saturdays. So it was really uh, presumably a no-brainer for, for Liam, he was to captain his country. And unfortunately then he wasn't he was expelled and wasn't allowed to sit as group cert um, in the same room as his classmates, nor was he allowed to wear his school uniform. So his dad had to come up and make a special arrangements for him to sit the group cert. Anyway, happily he signed for Arsenal uh, that summer. And um, the rest is very happy history, as we know. No, there hadn't been since the late 80s um, when Tommy Bruin, the uh, TD, uh, was on the teaching staff and it was kind of a quite a secret operation to have a soccer team. So he sought Liam Brady's help at the time. Liam was still playing with Ascoli in, in Italy and each season Liam would send him a shipment of Ascoli jerseys so we weren't even playing in the red and white of the school at the time. Um, and. That team made it to an, um, a Metropolitan final and were beaten by Marion College and the captain of that team that day was Graeme Kavanagh, former Ireland international. And even in 2006 he came back as a guest of honour of the school and um, many of the same personnel who were there on the teaching staff uh, at the time were in the audience. But I have to say like all parties were very very gracious about it and they were able to look back on it. Um, you know, and, and realised that it was a very different time and pressures were there from everywhere on everybody. Um, but it wasn't, f it, w it, wasn't, it wasn't until 2011 then that we eventually managed to get our own representative team. The principal at the time, Brendan Harrington, had been in England for a very long time and you could see the benefit that um, having soccer on the curriculum would have. I don't like calling it soccer. It, it, when I was growing up, only Americans and priests called football soccer. Um, but um, 2011 was when we got the team going and I think everybody knew it would be only a matter of time before it would become very successful. We were only allowed to enter one team in one competition as a kind of a pilot project and then this year then was when the real fruit was born then.